Hello family, we're going to make an amazing dish today with peppers. So let's get right to it. Um, I have the peppers here. They've been cleaned. My hands are clean. I'm going to place these gloves on because we're going to um, handle some ground beef here for a minute. So I'm going to slide this here. Here's the bowl. And then we have our ground beef. And let me back it up a little bit. Peppers, bite-sized potatoes, green peppers, diced tomatoes with basil. We're gonna use some rice. And we have our seasonings. We have lemon pepper, paprika, we have some Italian seasoning, sea salt, parsley flakes, and pesto if you prefer it. Okay, but if you have nut allergies, always remember to look at the label, you know. Okay, let's get it. So here's the ground beef. We're going to do it like so. I'm going to remove this glove. Two dashes of sea salt. Three dashes of lemon pepper. Ten dashes of Italian seasoning. Let's do this parsley flakes like so. Do that. And then the paprika. Here we go. Two dashes. Now we're going to put our pan on our back eye at medium. But I need to spray it with some Pam first. So, here we go. Down, and I'm going to place it there for now. Uh, let's work this ground beef again. And I hope everyone's day is going well. Mine is okay. No complaints. I'm enjoying being able to do this with you, family. There we go. There we go. So it depends on um, the size of your family. If you're going to have guests, you know how much ground beef you want to use or ground chuck. This is 80% lean and 20% fat. So I had about a pound and a half here. That's what I used here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to let's see what I'm going to do. Who do I want to use? I'll use this one. We're going to put this in the frying pan. We have cast iron skillet over here. do is these potatoes you can mash the potatoes up if you like you could take the um, outer skin peeling you know off so what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the uh, outer off so let's get this going like this. got a knife I'm just going to cut it in half like so Very edible. I love these. Let's see. Well, 
peel it back like so. It comes off really easy, you know. There we go. See that? Nothing to it. Nothing to it at all, family. And these are organic. They don't have to be organic, you know. I just happened to pick these up at the store. So, worked out well for me. There we go. So we're just going to take some of here it is, this off. And this is really a quick uh, recipe, you know. Nice and easy recipe. And um, it's filling, you know. So we kind of This one, I, I just like to take these and eat them whole, you know, at times. Um, doesn't take long to steam them, and that's great. I'm going to put this down and go over here and stir this ground beef. Smells delicious. And you can use red potatoes if you like. You know, it's your choice. Russet potatoes. I'm going to step over here and get some onions and sprinkle them in this uh, skillet. Here we go. Oh, Here we go. We're just about done with this. Put them here in this bowl, like so. Two more. Here. And here we go, family. Just a little. Yeah. Way you want to do it. You know. Okay. Then, a little sea salt. One, two. five dashes of Italian seasoning and four or five because you know it sprinkles out pretty light. There it is. Beautiful. Okay. Now 
Okay, now we're going to add these peppers in. So, here we go. I'm going to do some more stirring here. Oh, it smells good. family. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this on, let's see, the front, and we're going to steam these peppers. You can put them in for uh, anywhere from two to uh, five minutes. You know, it depends on um, how well you want to um, cook them or steam them, but I should say the core comes out. Corn seeds come out and it's rinsed. So I'm going to, let me see, give me a minute family. Okay, here we go. We're gonna make life a little easy. Here. Well, I'm gonna be safe. Okay. We'll put them in here like so. So those go in there. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take these and we're gonna turn them upside down in the skillet with the meat. So, now what we're going to do, we're going to move this over here, and we have our rice. I'm going to put this back in the microwave. This is going to go in the microwave for about uh, just a minute. And what you can do, family, a cup of rice, cook you a cup of rice, you know, and then drain it well. So that's what I did, and now it's going to go in the microwave for one minute. And the reason why I put it in the microwave for one minute, it's still warm because before we got together here today, I um, made sure I prepared the rice, you know, and... You know, because I didn't want um, that to be consuming uh, the majority of our time. Like I said, this is a pretty quick dish here. Okay. Okay, it can come out now. So this rice is going to go in for about a minute. You see the steam. I'm going to get a bowl. It's clean, family, but I'm going to rinse it again. Here we go. Here we go. I like these bowls. Okay. So, potatoes. Rice. You can put about, you can start out with half. Half the rice. Mix. See that? Beautiful. Okay, now what we're going to do is cover it along just fine. And I can smell it. Smells good. That's a, that's a pretty good sign. So here we go. Mix. Mix. And with that, we're going to add some more parsley flakes and put them into this now. About three dashes. There you go. 
so you can see. Mm -hmm. Then what I like to do is paprika. Paprika, however you want to say it. Start out with two dashes. You don't want to be too heavy handed with this. And stir it like so. Then what you're going to do, you're going to take the juice from your diced tomatoes, pour it in. And this is about three tablespoons, so you're going to stir it first. So basically what you're doing is putting like a tablespoon and a half in. And you see how the color changes there? Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your diced tomatoes. That's a spoon. Stir. Oh, it smells good. We're going to take another spoon, which would equal a tablespoon. But I like to start out, you know, with just a teaspoon. Just right there we go. Okay, I'm going to stir it. Like so. And we're going to go over here and check these peppers. Going just well. So now what we're going to do, family, is we're going to start taking some of these peppers out. Let me get the top one So, move this bowl. And we have our dish here. It's nice and clean, but you know me, I'm going to rinse it again for you. Here we go. It's a beautiful day today. It's in the 80s. So, uh, weather-wise, they say we're going to have 80s for maybe the next three or four days, so it's all right with me. Here we go, family. Looking pretty good. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to remove these and place them in the steamer. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, get our ground beef. I'm going to take a bowl here. Right. And we're going to turn this off and slide this to the front. allow some of the oil to um, drain when you're dipping it out. So oh, I love this one. I want to keep this 
uh, some of this meat in here for now, like so. Okay, here we go. And then it's going to go into this bowl, like so. There we go, family. Then we start stirring a little bit. There it is. Okay. Now. Stir. More diced tomatoes. As I say, it's basil in this, you know. Yes, beautiful dish. And then what we're going to do is we use this. We use a smaller spoon, and we just start. Filling our bell peppers like so. It's an amazing dish. And that's pretty much what you're going to get with this. Now, you can top this off any way you want. You know with extras because you're gonna make this what you want to make it one minute family You want to put a little cheese, you can do that. It's up to you. You know how you want to dress it up. This is what you get. We'll set this to the side now. And turn this off. Let's see. It's the bowl. Here you go. Give me one minute, family. I'll be right with you. And we're going to go over these ingredients again. So what we um, did is we used about a pound and a half of ground beef. And it was 80% lean, you know, and 20% fat. 
it um, it's your desire what you want to use and um, what we did is we seasoned the meat you know uh, when we took our peppers and we had to core these peppers and take the seeds out and we washed them you know rinsed them off really well and set them to the side so we started our ground beef but I should say that I had the rice um, prepared before we got um, started today so the rice was prepared and then chopped tomatoes you know and basil was added into the tomatoes and I let those sit overnight so I diced the tomatoes basically you can say um, we have our rice we have our tomatoes we have our seasonings I use lemon pepper seasoning any brand you know I'm good at saying that parsley flakes paprika Italian seasoning and you know we had our sea salt so after we prepared everything here you know we steamed these peppers we took them out and you can steam them anywhere I mean it depends on if you like them crunchy you know you're not gonna leave them in that long but I mean earlier I think I, I said uh, two to five minutes it can be two to seven minutes like I say it depends on uh, what you prefer and you take them out but after that you know even before that you uh, started with your rice mixture and you added tomatoes you added uh, some of the uh, juice from the tomatoes you stirred that up and seasonings added into that and then what you're going to do is you start filling your peppers so we have some halves here and then we have a whole pepper here now this is what we're going to do the reason I put the pepper over in the ground beef is I'm going to take this, it's just a little bit of the diced tomatoes, and put that over in there, in the skillet I should say. Some cheese, rice, and then what we're going to do is we're going to stir it a little bit, like so. And that's if you want uh, more meat in your pepper, you know. So then what you're going to do is you're going to get your one of the peppers out of here. And that's a spoon. And we're going to start filling this pepper like so. And, and, and this is for the meat lover. <laughs> so, there we go. And I should also say we added onions, you know. So you can use red onion, you can use uh, green, you can use white. It's up to you. Okay. There it is. There it is. There it is. So that's that. Okay, family. It's about that time. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I want you to always love yourself. Always love yourself, family. And until we meet again, and we shall have a wonderful day. Bye.